Hi everyone. Um, in this uh, video, I will introduce a concept that I call uh, the analytics suit case. So the basic idea is uh, when you come to a customer, uh, you may sometimes uh, redo the same thing that you have uh, done for another customer, such as uh, creating the same custom reports, creating the same custom alerts, uh, setting uh, the same configuration for the websites, and so on and so forth. And you may uh, lose actually a lot of time of uh, doing this on and on. And the idea is actually to explain you briefly and with a specific example how you can make this process faster thanks uh, to the uh, Matomo reporting API. So uh, what is the um, reporting API of Matomo? This is, of course, uh, to create some uh, reports to get some data out of Matomo, but as well to include data uh, within Matomo. So um, this documentation, it's kind of uh, very long. So I'm just going to give you a straight example here. If you just look for uh, the add name, right? Add name, you will see that you have a lot of, uh, let's say, a function that you can call. So uh, here, for example, this is for the module A-B testing. You can use the API in order to create and add an A-B testing. Uh, you can use it as well in order to create uh, some annotation. You can use it as well in order to add some custom alerts. Uh, you can use it um, as well to add some custom report and so on and so forth. So you can really uh, create uh, a lot of things through the API without uh, using the UI of Matomo and create like a full uh, set of, uh, let's say, features in order to uh, execute them, I mean, functions in order to execute them and create straight away, let's say, all the different uh, function and setting and configure the website that you would like to work on uh, very easily. So as previously said, I'm just gonna uh, give you some uh, basic and simple example. So in this video, I will uh, give an example about how you can uh, create multiple annotations thanks uh, to a spreadsheet. And you will see that it's exactly the same technique that you can use in order to create multiple segments, uh, multiple custom alert, and so on and so forth. So um, I have here a spreadsheet. And as you can see, yes, it's kind of uh, confused. But uh, let's imagine that here uh, you could create uh, one for uh, the segment as well, segments, yep, uh, one for the custom alerts and so on and so forth. Okay, so that's what you could do. And that's, as an analyst, this is, this is your uh, suit case. So I'm not an expert in terms of spreadsheets, but um, what you can imagine, it's always uh, the same thing that you are working with. You're always working with one given website which has an id which is different than the other so here you could put uh, the id site of uh, your user so if you are a google analytics user that will be the ua something here is your token uh, authentifier that you can find within the back office of matomo and here is the instance where uh, you wish to send the data to uh, to uh, your matomo uh, instance so um, as I already introduced it um, in a previous video, in order to execute this uh, function, what you need is to send an HTTP request. And this HTTP request can be sent uh, through uh, uh, a curl request. So if uh, you go over here under annotation here, um, what I did here is I created actually uh, my curl request. So as you can see, I have my curl request over here, which is here in order to send some data. Here I call uh, the API uh, module and then the method, which is annotations add, which is this one. And then it expects actually to receive some parameter that I added as column here, which are the ID side, the date, uh, the notes that I would like to add. Uh, I do not use this one as this one is this one is optional, right? When you have an equal something, it means in the documentation that it's um, that is optional. And here, as you can see, I have uh, the different value that I would like to add, such as uh, the date, such as the note that I would like to uh, send. Um, the, the token here, I could, as you can see, it's a double data information. So if 
uh, I was doing something clean, I should have uh, leave it under the constants. But I guess you got the broad idea. So here I have kind of my suitcase where, in fact, um, what is of value here is really the formula, which is up here. Here, as you can see, I'm using uh, LibreOffice Calc. So LibreOffice Calc, uh, maybe such as Excel, has some troubles working with double quotes. So pay attention, because every time that you are going to use um, a double quote, you need to use it three times in order to be recognized as a character. Uh, the other thing which makes me crazy is the date part. So um, always pay attention and always here make uh, your uh, full cell recognized as a text value and not a date. If not, it's going to pick up uh, the, uh, the value of the date and not the date itself. And here, as you can see, it's like uh, picking up all the different um, value within my columns in order to create all my different curl requests. So uh, here I have my full list. And then I just need to take uh, this whole list up and to include it uh, within a, a script that I did here. Uh, so I just need to add it uh, as a bin bash, copy and paste all my uh, lines of code up here. And now I just need to execute actually this, uh, this script. So this is what I call it the analytics suit case. Um, so basically, if we take back uh, this spreadsheet, what you could do is actually uh, complete it by using the same techniques that I'm using here in order to do the site configuration, all the segments that you would like to do, the custom alerts, and let's say coming to your customer with, let's say, all the tabs um, filled in with all the different uh, features of Matomo that you are used uh, to create on and on, and all your work consists in executing this given script and as a result will import let's say all the data straight away uh, within Matomo. Uh, so as you can imagine it's even better than a tag manager container because it goes straight to the different function that you would like to have within Matomo such as uh, the segment, such as uh, the website configuration, such as the custom report, such as the custom alerts. I mean all of that could definitely just be imported within Matomo by having a, a detailed uh, analytics suit case, let's say a detailed spreadsheet uh, while we turn. So uh, what I did here is I just, uh, this code is, is good. Uh, so what I will do is I will uh, post it available in the video for you to download it and reuse it afterward for your own because all my work, let's say my brain work consists in making uh, this formula here uh, working uh, properly, uh, you can of course optimize it because I mentioned previously I may have done some. I mean, I could optimize it by putting everything within the constant. I think that the best way that we could optimize the whole process is to have it as a plugin in Matomo. But uh, let's move on. So, yeah, um, I have all my different requests which are up here and my wish. Um, so, all the Santa which are announced here, like Santa Jose, uh, Santa George, Santa Luis, uh, they are not right. Actually, it's just that I did not find out uh, the good database online. But my wish here is to import a straight away like 17 annotations within Matomo uh, without doing anything. So, my script is named Analytics Suitcase. So, what I will do is I'm going to go. Um, I'm going to go uh, over here and over here. I'm just going to clean my mess up. And now I'm just going to uh, execute my, um, yeah, just going to execute my script. So which is called the analytics suit case. And as you can see, it's doing the whole things up. And if I go, um, if I go here, so this is my Matomo. I'm in 2018. If I refresh the page, uh, so as you've seen, actually, the process was quite fast. Um, and let's look at, do we have any annotations? So, um, so the reason why I cannot see them is that, uh, as you can see, it's taking like the 30 days before the given date here. So as those dates were in, were in January, that's the reason why we couldn't find them. But if I look uh, 90 days, in the past, I got my old Santa Monica Santa. Okay, may not have them all. So I'm just gonna ask for 80 days and okay. 
and the other. Okay, so um, typically, if you are like kind of a, um, a flower shop and you would like to know if one Santa, for example, is more popular than the other one, you could easily see if you get like uh, more visits or more orders at a given date. I mean, you can do it with events and stuff. And this is just one way you can do it for the annotation, but you can really do it uh, the same way for the segment. You can do it for everything that you want and really comes to your customer with uh, the analytics suitcase or uh, filled in. Hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.